what is up guys it's your boy here jersey flex back with another video in today's video i kind of wanted to cover with you guys what it feels like to be on d ball diana ball probably one of the strongest mass building compounds out there in the bodybuilding world so i kind of wanted to cover and touch base with you guys on what it feels like to be walking around like a yoked block of mass because that's literally what i felt on it so in this video i'm going to basically cover a little bit about how to take a little bit about what it is but more so about how i felt and at the end i'm going to let you guys know if i would ever take it again and i kind of just want to give a brief overview on what it freaking feels like because many of you guys out there that are considering taking this or have taken it would like to relate to somebody that has taken it or you guys might wanna be getting some insight on what it might feel like if you guys decide to take it. So felt like there was a need to make this video. So go down, hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate all the love and support. I love you guys and let's roll that freaking intro. Boop. Maybe it's a new beginning. Maybe it's the start of where it ends. I know. what is up guys welcome back my fellow youtubers um yeah so as you guys could tell by that little intro that i make and put at the beginning of every single video that this video is not designed for medical purposes and it's strictly designed for educational purposes only and entertainment too i do want to entertain you guys with a little bit of my snazzy little personality so please don't take anything from this video as medical advice please seek the advice of an actual medical professional if you're experiencing low testosterone or any of those other beta symptoms go get actual professional help instead of banging your head against the wall don't ever do that it doesn't work it just makes you dumber uh so what could I say about D-Ball? D-Ball was one of the original steroids, uh, one of the classic steroids out there. Uh, so we do know a lot about it just because it's been around for a long time. Whether you guys go on Reddit or go on like Google search and try to figure things out about Diana Ball, you guys are gonna find a lot about it because a lot of people have taken it and a lot of people like myself right here, right now, uh, have made experience reviews on it and also talked about what they went through also about post cycle therapy this is definitely a steroid or a compound that i do recommend doing a post cycle therapy for uh, not that i wouldn't recommend with any steroid because uh, it will shut you down it will do all that kind of stuff you got to get your um your FSN signals and all that stuff working again. And you, you definitely want to stay fertile. You want to stay producing natural testosterone. If you come off, you want to make sure that your shit freaking works. Okay. So, uh, definitely do a PCT, especially with this one, because it's, it's very aggressive in the way that it works. And a lot of people say, okay, it comes in such a small, like tablet that a lot of people will say like wow this thing's not going to really do much it's so tiny it's a no there's a lot of kick in that little tiny pill i'm telling you uh wow so um generally it comes in uh, 10 milligrams 20 milligrams and some people will take uh 40 milligrams daily which is an absolutely high freaking dose which i don't recommend it's kind of stupid uh definitely don't do that uh, basically what it is, it's methylated testosterone, so it has a double carbon bond at the receptor site. Not to get overly scientific because this is a experience video, but I did say I was going to give a little bit of an overview and a little bit about dosing, so here it is. Um, it has a four hour half-life, so it stays in your system for four hours. Some people will take 10 or 20 milligrams twice a day, one in the morning, one before workout in the afternoon. So that way they stay more anabolic throughout the day. That's just the way that people take it. Some people dissolve it in water and they drink the water within the hour, you know, kind of like in a 16.9 fluid ounce water bottle. That is one way of administering the Dianabol. Um, don't know why the fuck I said it like that, but whatever. Uh, so one thing that you can expect with uh, Dianabol is tons of water weight. Uh, you could expect 15 to 30 pounds of weight gain within the month or two of taking it 
Uh, again, six to eight weeks tops. Uh, to be honest, it works so freaking quickly and it's so toxic on your liver that four weeks is just enough with it, three to four weeks. You really don't need a lot and some people will just use it as a pre-workout for like a few weeks and that's kind of it. Take liver support, M2 guard, any kind of liver support you can get, milk thistle, a lot of water. Um, but let's talk about the feeling I had on it. You will feel like you're in straight God mode. You will feel incredibly horny, um, incredibly turned on by just about everything. You'll walk around carrying a lot of weight and part of the reason why is because of that double carbon bond I mentioned. So it's methylated testosterone, and which also means it converts into methylated estrogen. So you're gonna have a double carbon bond as well with uh, methoestradiol, which is um, estrogen two. So the estrogen is gonna be twice as freaking potent, twice the amount of water retention that you'd get with regular testosterone. As that's what it says so on paper. And very true, you will retain a lot of water. So that increases the risk of gyno freaking mastia. That is something that I personally had on this, but thank God I was smart enough to take Novadex and diminish the risk of forming any kind of gyno in my boobs because dude my nips were very sensitive beyond sensitive so that's something to keep in mind that's part of my personal experience like even putting on a t-shirt my t-shirt rubbing against the nips whoa not a good feeling uh just felt weird uncomfortable and itchy and Thank God I was smart enough to keep Novadex on hand because I'd probably have some sausage chest action going on right now. So that's something to please remember about Diana Ball is that um, you're going to get boob sensitivity. Um, other than that, let's talk about my experience in the gym. And I got to say, like taking D-Ball was probably the one time where I actually felt like I was humongous, aside from like the trend cycle that I ran. But I remember walking into uh, work one day and everyone was just kind of just looking and nobody really said anything, but I knew like I just knew it was because I looked freaking massive uh like like ronnie coleman yeah buddy kind of massive walked in my shorts were tight my shirt was just squeezed onto my skin i just like every move i made i couldn't even make it so agile i was kind of moving like a block i had no other way of moving and part of it was because the water retention had me so pumped that my muscles were just so pumped i couldn't even really move uh you know there was no flexibility no agility it was just i'm here like a block of mass so um that's one thing that you can expect with it also the legendary d-ball pumps when you're in the gym you could expect to be freaking erect you're gonna be pumped uh incredibly so that water retention in your muscle bodies is going to give you an incredible pump and d-ball is known for those legendary pumps so it's something that can very well be expected with this compound um Aside from that, a libido, sky high. Um, it did what testosterone did and basically more so. Uh, definitely not as bad as trend where I was like watching weird videos and stuff, but definitely something that uh, will take your libido and skyrocket it to the freaking moon in my opinion. So be mindful and weary of that as well. So um, I think this basically kind of wraps up the the review on it strength gains i do got to add that strength gains were very very much uh ve very well prevalent um i would say compared to trend it gave it actually gave me more strength than trend did uh trend was kind of just an all-around mass builder shredder strength builder but d-ball did not shred me did not it was just weight gain unnecessary sloppy muscle weight gain and made me incredibly strong incredibly you know libido sky high just everything and my garden snake was very happy so um <laughs> i think this kind of wraps up everything on my personal uh review would i ever do it again probably not no just because the side effects are too great uh i broke out a lot on my back um the strength was there the mass building was there but i'm not trying to be a competitive bodybuilder 
Um, so there's really no reason for me to take it. And the side effects were just too great. It's too liver toxic for me and uh, I honestly enjoy drinking. So it's not something that I would see in my near future or ever again. Uh, really did it just to try it and it was pretty good. I got to keep maybe like five or eight pounds. You know, it's tough to tell because I ran so many other things as well, but I, I definitely kept some of the weight that I gained on it. So that, that was pretty nice. But would I ever do it again? Probably not. And that's kind of my answer. So if you felt like this video was insightful in any way, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button. There'll be plenty of more content to come. And in the meantime, you guys already know it's your boy Jersey Flex. Let's roll that freaking outro. Boom. No!